140,000 data scientists rank 1 to 140,000. We also know what they're good at. So we hire the best out of the, the community to build sort of an end-to-end -end solution. Um, the, our first end-to-end uh, -end solutions are targeting the oil and gas industry. We picked oil and gas because yeah, we'd worked with 20 for Fortune 500s, 12 different industries. Uh, and it had by far the most to gain from uh, the use of machine learning and, and data-driven decision-making. Their data sources are incredibly rich. So as they're drilling, uh, a lot of the drill bits have sensors that follow the drill bit. And so every um, somewhere between 2 and 15 inches, they're collecting data on the rock that the drill bit is passing through. Uh, they also have seismic data where they shoot sound waves down into the rock and, and they, based on the time that it takes for those sound waves to be captured by, the, uh, um, by a recorder, uh, they can get a sense for what's under the earth. Now, these are incredibly rich and complex data sets, and at the moment they've been mostly manually interpreted. Um, and when you manually interpret you know, what comes off a, a sensor on a drill bit or a seismic survey, you miss, miss a lot of the richness uh, that a, a machine learning algorithm can pick up. The other thing that a machine learning algorithm can pick up that a human can't pick up is the interactions between these different data sources. Sometimes there are subtle interactions. Um, and again, you know, there's only so much that a human can, can, use, can uh, process using their head, uh, whereas a machine learning algorithm can pick up the subtleties. And it was one industry that really was just about untouched by machine learning. So the delta between what we can do and, uh, and, and what the industry is currently doing is very large. Today, machine learning algorithms are actually as good or better than humans at many things that we think of as being uniquely human capabilities. So for example, in 2012, a team of four expert pathologists looked through thousands of um, breast cancer screening images and identified the areas of what's called mitosis, the areas which were like the, the most active parts of a tumor. It takes four pathologists to do that because only, any two only agree with each other 50% of the time. It's, it's that hard to look at these images and like there's so much complexity in all that. So they then took this kind of consensus of experts um, and fed those breast cancer images with those tags to a machine learning algorithm. The machine learning algorithm came back with something that agreed with the pathologists 60% of the time. So it is more accurate at identifying the very thing that these pathologists were trained for years to do um, than they are. And again, this machine learning algorithm, it was built by people with no background in life sciences at all.